when it comes to theming windows, I like a really minimal presence. So when I'm over on Linux, it kind of looks, you know, kind of like this. And it's really nice and clean. And then when I come back to Windows, I'm kind of like, ugh, this looks bad. <laughs> I, or let's just say I'm bored of it. Much like, like Mac OS, same thing. A lot of times I'm just like, same old, same old. And there's some, some fine beauty with that as far as just being productive because you already know where everything is. But doesn't make a good YouTube video. So we're going to theme this out, make a minimal aesthetic in Windows today. Let's get on the desktop and get into it. So to start with, what are we going to use for this? I have used Rain Meter for the better part of 20 years. This has been around since, I want to say, Windows 2000 era. I remember finding it. And then XP and, and so on and so forth. It's just been out there forever. And it's a free tool. It doesn't cost anything. And it's not shareware or any of that business. So you can easily... Uh, get it installed. Now we can talk about removing the entire taskbar down here, but I I still like the taskbar. So a lot of times what I do here is come into like taskbar settings, and then I usually just change the behavior of the taskbar to automatically hide. That usually does enough for me. So then when I'm sitting here doing stuff, I come down, it shows the taskbar. However, that's not suitable for some, like the really artistic fellows out there that are stuck on Windows, I'm going to say near CMD is amazing. So check it out. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and grab it just to show you it. I'm not going to personally use this, but you may like it. So I have a little download link through my website from our downloads. We're just going to extract this all to near CMD. Doesn't matter where you extract it to, because as soon as you click it to run the file, it'll prompt you and say, Hey, do you want to copy this to the windows directory? Just say copy to windows directory. Yes. And then it usually will copy. Now this one won't because we did not launch it as admin. So let's relaunch, run as administrator, copy to windows directory. Yes. And then it copied it. So if you don't run it as admin, obviously it's going to block the windows directory, but I wanted to show that. So now we have near CMD and we can do these one shot commands. So you see how we can actually come down and we're opening up this. Make sure we auto hide it because if you don't, it's just going to leave a gap at the bottom of your screen and you won't want that. So to remove it, copy this little command, open up our terminal, paste this command in and watch. So right now we have the taskbar. And then when we do that, there's no taskbar. And if we minimize, go back to our desktop, you can see we have nothing on the desktop now if i hit the windows key it still pops this up so we're still fine uh so if we want to reverse that change we can come back into here and then it is 255 instead of 256 and we can close this out and then you'll notice we have the taskbar back i wanted to show that real fast just because some people don't know how to hide it or they'll go download all these crazy tools and it's just so simple to do just with near CMD. So now that we understand how to get rid of the taskbar and just get a blank canvas to kind of work with, we can install Rain Meter. Now you can go download the executable from their website if you want, but as with anything in Windows, I kind of just like using Winget or Chocolatey. Hell, even Scoop's fine with me, but that's usually how I install stuff because it's already installed. Look at that. It downloaded all the Rain Meter, installed it. Why wouldn't you install stuff this way? I don't know, because we're old and we only remember how to do setup.exe is pretty much the only reason people still do that from websites. But I left that option there. And then we need to download the skin. So there's a lot of uh, sites. I recommend visualskins.com and then DeviantArt. You can pick out all kinds of stuff. Like, look at this Jarvis one. That's a little bit ridiculous and a little too busy for my liking. But for some, you might like it. DeviantArt has some really good ones. I like coming into their skins folder they have some really artistic ones through here where you can do stuff like look at this uh mond express but i already downloaded one that we're going to go ahead and install it's just an rm skin file if it comes as a zip file or 7z just extract it and you'll have rm skin and that's it for installing let's uh pull that up and you can see i have two rm skins here one's minimalist and you can see it's pretty small because it's a minimal design and then we have adversity so i'm just going to install this and uh, <laughs> we need to run rain meter real fast. All right, we launch rain meter. It has this base skin, which you can mess around with getting started and all that. But the best thing we can do 
is down in our task tray. We're just going to right click and we can actually just go through and be systematic about it if we want. You can see that removes that welcome screen. Now I'm going to change our task bar again and I'm just making it so I can always just see the rain meter icon right, right down here. So we'll just right click that. We have system going, which shows like RAM usage. This is just what comes with it. I'm gonna unload that skin. And if we double click, actually we can just open up manage rain meter. So let's say you don't have the taskbar and you did the first part there. You can actually just open up a manage rain meter and kind of go through each one and uh, unload what you don't want. So we still have a clock and disks it looks like. So we can go clock, unload, disks, and then unload and that kind of just unloads all of these skins but we have them right here now we can load up minimal skin let's just install those and let's uh, grab this one as well advancedy it's also a very cool skin that i like we have them loaded we have a couple different ones here this settings one is from the minimal uh skin set you have all of this this skin's a couple years old, so there's a couple little gotchas. Since this has been around for 20 years and some of these skins were created five years ago, some things don't work in the skin. So the weather here is based on weather.com's API, which is now closed. It used to be open, so that's not going to work. You can see minimalist weather. Uh, let's unload that. And we could grab the, the code here and put it in. But if we go into weather to truly modify these, I like to kind of come into each one. Let's hit edit. And from here, you can see this is what in, is in these widgets. These are all controlled through INI files, really easy to read and modify. But one thing I want you to watch out for if you're having weather problems with rain meter skins is looking for this. This used to work. It no longer does. If it, it's issuing anything from weather.com, just throw it in the garbage because a lot of times it's just not going to work. Unless there's some workaround I haven't seen, but I do know all the old ways of grabbing stuff from weather.com no longer work. So that's one way. Uh, I just wanted to show kind of what the configuration looks like. And you can change settings in here, which is great. Let's just unload our settings so that gets out of the way. This skin, you can actually drag it around a little bit. So let's say I, this is my wallpaper and I wanted to kind of have everything up here to have a more minimal aesthetic. That looks cool. But then we're like, oh, you know what? I don't want... Twitter and Facebook and all this stuff in my life. I need to change that doc around. Let's hit edit to our doc. And from the doc, you can see everything's built into these little brackets. So let's come down into here and see if we can't remove some of these brackets. So we have Twitter and we also have Facebook, which who wants to check those things? Let's just save that out. We'll just hit save, minimize. You see they're still there let's refresh and you can see they disappeared but now this is all the way over here and it's not one unit ah that's kind of poopy so let's fix that and it's all controlled with x and y axis so youtube is all the way here you can see the difference is about 150 so that means each icon's getting 50, uh, 50 pixels so i technically if we remove two icons, two times 50 is 100, boom. We save that out, come back in here, refresh our skin, and we change that out. Now we can also change the icons, we can do everything just by editing that INI file. So everyone can do this and just know that you just get a good base and then just make the modifications you want. So I don't use Chrome, I use Brave. Uh, so to set it up on, in Brave on this, so if I click on the Chrome icon, it would launch Brave, not Chrome, which I don't have installed. Let's just come into our start menu, Brave, and then, you know, let's open this file location. And then we're just going to Properties, and then we can see this is what it's launching. We're going to copy this target, come over to here, and then we'll paste this in and hit Save. So that's everything I need for to change this from Google to Brave. Obviously, we'd probably want to change the PNG. I just don't feel like downloading a new PNG and getting it all themed exactly the same. But if you did, you would just change the PNG right here under the image name. Then we'll refresh this. And then when I click this, you can see it launches into the Brave browser. So we have that. This is our trash can. Oh, cool. We can probably empty this. 
Can we empty it from here? Ah, see, if you just right click, it sends that command. Uh, and you can see that in the INI file as well. And you see right mouse action down, execute, purge, empty recycle bin, where the left mouse executes this command, which just opens up recycle bin. Kind of a cool little shortcut. All it's doing is just pushing this into uh, as a run command. Just a fun, neat way to interact with Windows and kind of see the back end, but also design it to be extremely minimal. So let's say you didn't have that start bar and you had everything programmed in here. Well, then you wouldn't even need to ever pull up your start menu, except on rare occasions, you can just have your desktop like this, which is perfect. Settings menu, let's see what the setting menu looks like. So a lot of skins have something like this that just makes it so much easier for you. Oh man, look how many icons. It's kind of cool they, they've themed this out to have that many icons all in one go. Uh, that's a lot that we could add on just the left side if we wanted. Hey, what do we want to use for this uh, on the media player? Man, there's so many, so many options. Let's go Spotify, YouTube. Then we have a visualizers too. I want to, I want to show you the music and visualization because again, really cool for this whole format. Okay, so now that we have that going. You can see kind of a virtualizer. This is kind of a weird visualizer. I'm used to the more line graph. So I'm not sure if I dig this, I might grab a different one. The cool thing is you can mix and match. So let's say I was like, you know what? I'm not feeling this ver uh, visualizer. Let's just go manage. And then let's change some of this visualizing out. Let's unload that one. You know, that minimalized uh, visualizer, I kind of liked a bit better. Let's load that up. Oh, okay, cool. We got that kind of like right there. Change the color of this virtualizer, right? Or visualizer right here. We're also gonna change the sensitivity. I kinda like a higher sensitivity. It's at 25 right now, let's change that to 35. It's gonna make those peaks a little higher and the valley is just a little sharper. Uh, so it gives a little bit better aesthetic. This is kind of what we had right now. Let's refresh. Ooh, kinda dig it, yeah. So now I have all these icons over here which we can customize and stuff. Sea cleaner. <laughs> There's a lot of trash over here. I'd have to clean this up if I were going to use this. We have uh, just a version. We have our bin over here where we can just click it to open it, or I can right click it to empty it. We have the top performing thing. So you can see Brave's using the most amount of RAM. Shocker, any kind of browser does. And you can see, oh, MSMPG engine that's the microsoft defender taking up a bunch there's steam okay cool so i got a good idea of what's being used in my system i kind of like the basic player just a bit more and then let's edit it and we can see if there's anything we could do in here to kind of clean it up to make it a bit better or maybe we wouldn't just say you know what i don't like this version of the player it's just not doing what i want let's just unload it and load a different player from another skin Again, mix and match these as much as you want. Sky's the limit on this, and you can drag them around, and then once you have everything kind of dialed in, you can actually change and say, you know what, I'm done with this layout. Save your layout. You can set a favorite layout so you can switch between them. You can have game mode that just disables all of this stuff as soon as you launch into a game. I mean, there's just so much to do here that's just kind of amazing. But once you do have it all dialed in, I do recommend uh, changing the click through to be on and then draggable to be off. So then you can't dra accidentally drag and drop these. You'll just click through all of this stuff and then you just have a nice little aesthetic background and you don't have to worry about anything. You have uh, a whole bunch of stuff. Now I'm not an artist, I'm just an analytical guy. So this looks kind of like a hot mess and I just will probably get rid of all of it but I at least want to inspire the artists out there that do want to make a fantastic looking Windows desktop. I say Rain Meter's a great place to start. There's a plenty of other tools that I'm sure people will let me know in the comments about. And with that, I'll see you in the next one.